to collect samples of an asteroid and then return it to Earth. So after traveling for nearly 3.9 billion miles, that's all. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Osiris Rex is about to deliver its precious cargo. Here to talk about this incredible accomplishment is Stephanie Getty, NASA's Goddard Solar System Exploration Director. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so tell us why Bennu was chosen for this mission. Yeah, Bennu is an example of a carbonaceous asteroid. So it turns out it's a rubble pile and it's orbiting our sun and it's orbiting our sun between the orbits of Earth and Mars. So it's accessible to a mission like, like OSIRIS-REx that has the objective of going to this asteroid, collecting a pristine sample and returning it to Earth, which will just ha happen over the weekend this weekend. Oh my goodness, it is remarkable to just get a glimpse of what's happening with this. And we understand the mission isn't even over yet. So what comes next for Osiris X Rex? Yes, so Osiris Rex has instruments on the spacecraft in addition to the sample return capsule that will return to Earth at 1055 Eastern on Sunday. Um, but the instruments on the spacecraft have a lot of life left in them. Uh, and so Osiris Rex will take on a new role as Osiris Apex. And in just a few years, it will visit another asteroid uh, called Apophis and use its instruments to characterize a second asteroid. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got a couple asteroids. Like, how common are asteroids like this? Like Bennu. Bennu is, uh, is an example of, a, as I said, a carbonaceous asteroid. So it formed as the solar system was forming, um, but it didn't experience the same type of heat and evolution that our planets did. So it's a time capsule. It records the you know composition and, and building blocks of the early solar system. We think that it might relate to some of the meteorites in our collection. So these are pieces of asteroid that have come to Earth um, just naturally, but we really won't know the relationship relationship between our meteorite collection and Bennu, this carbonaceous asteroid, until we get that sample back to Earth and start to study it with our Earth laboratories. Yeah, so once you, you get it back on Earth, what what is the what are you studying? What are you hoping to learn from the sample? Yeah, so as I said Bennu dates back to the earliest uh, um, parts of the solar system, the earliest times in the solar system. So the the uh, water, the organic molecules, the minerals that made up the earliest parts of the solar system are all um, you know captured as part of the Osiris Rex uh, uh, sample. Um, and so we will be using a vast array of instrumentation on Earth to study what the asteroid is is made out of this pristine sample provides us a unique opportunity to look at Bennu uh, in its purest form. Um, so about a quarter of the sample will be, in, you know, immediate, almost immediately, but carefully uh, transported across the world um, to uh, investigators that are currently part of the mission. But 75% of that sample will be curated and archived and carefully uh, preserved for future future investigations um, by techniques that may not have even been invented yet. Oh, wow. Sounds like quite the hot commodity yeah. there. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Um, well, before you go, I want to ask you, how can people watch all this go down on Sunday? Oh, please join our excitement. Um, so you can follow uh, by going to www.nasa.gov and watch the live stream. Uh, the the um, It starts at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, and you can also follow along on social media at NASA. All right, good to know. So after our morning news on Sunday morning, now at 9 a.m., you have something to do here there locally. You Thank you for your time, Stephanie. Very intriguing to see what's going on with it. Thank you so much. 819 right now.